What's going on everyone, Jax Rico here, coming at you with a monthly Blu-ray update. Uh, normally I would like to shoot out these videos twice a month, uh, depending on the titles I pick up um, throughout that month. Um, so getting started, I have a variety of titles that I want to share with you uh, that I picked up and collected from a variety of online stores and physical stores. So let's get started with the Disney Movie Club pickups. Uh, first up, I picked up Saving Mr. Banks, a Disney movie starring Tom Hanks and Emma Thompson. Uh, just a great movie, surprised me uh, to say the least. I wasn't expecting too much from this film, but um, I was thoroughly entertained throughout the movie. So definitely check out Saving Mr. Banks. Also part of the deal, I picked up Mary Poppins. I will have to probably get another slip cover because when I first received this from Disney Movie Club, this part right here um, that attaches the slipcover just kind of like broke off so I really had no slipcover at all um, to put this on so I tried to glue it back together but I pretty much messed it up. So I'm going to have to get another slipcover for Mary Poppins because this is a great, great slipcover to have and to own. Uh, very nice, shiny, um, and also embossed as too as well. Uh, next up, my Target pickups. I uh, picked up Mandela, the Target exclusive. As you can see here, it's still sealed. I have not seen this movie yet. I've heard mixed reviews, um, but I'm very interested in watching this film. Also a big star of Idris Elba. He's one of my favorite actors uh, currently. So yeah, Mandela. Next up, I picked up Frozen. I think a lot of people are picking this movie up. Just a great, great movie. I love the soundtrack to this movie and just thoroughly entertaining. Uh, so yeah, Frozen. And one of the best animated films I've seen uh, thus far. Um, I know there's a lot that are coming out. Uh, Toy Story was probably the last one that I enjoyed um, or up. So yeah, Frozen. I picked most of these titles up from BestBuy.com. Um, these are a lot of a lot of these titles, or most of these titles, were five to six dollars. So first up, I picked up Crimson Tide. I love this movie. Denzel and Gene Hackman. They just give off a, give off a phenomenal performance, especially that scene where they're arguing with each other. Um, uh, just a very heart pounding movie. I, would, I should say the least. Um, but yeah, two thumbs up, Crimson Tide. Next up from Best Buy, 10 Things I Hate About You, a classic uh, romantic comedy. Uh, I wouldn't say it's really a romantic comedy, but it depicts around um, teenagers in high school and just their drama growing up uh, throughout that year. Uh, it stars Julia Stiles, Heath Ledger, Justin Gordon Levitt, um, Larissa Olenek from The Secret World of Alex Mack. So yeah. 10 Things I Hate About You. Next up from BestBuy.com is The Guardian, starring Kevin Costner and Ashton Kutcher. Uh, just a great thriller. I highly enjoy this movie from start to finish. Uh, one of the very few films that I enjoy with Ashton Kutcher starring in it. Uh, the last Ashton Kutcher that movie that I personally like is The Butterfly Effect. So yeah, The Guardian. Next up, I picked up Adam Sandler and The Waterboy. This was an alright movie for me. I thoroughly enjoyed it when I was watching it back in the day. I watched it in theaters, um, watched it a few times afterwards, but I have not seen this movie in a long time. So yeah, The Waterboy, hopefully it still holds up. Next up, a personal favorite of mine is The Glory Road. Um, I like movies, sports movies in general that are inspirational and also take pay, are also based on true stories or true events. And Glory Road is just one of those movies that just, you know, it just it's a heartwarming, uh, emotional, powerful movie. Um, and it's a really entertaining movie as well. So Glory Road. All right, so next up from BestBuy.com is The Innkeepers. Uh, personally, I did not enjoy this movie at all. I thought it was very, it was very bland. Um, I'm not too sure how to <laughs> describe this type of movie. It just didn't really bring out the full effect of a scary film and a lot of these uh, scare effects in this movie were predictable. Um, it had a good premise but it just never brought out that boom effect, you know, like it wasn't very creepy at all, it was poorly acted, um, I think it was also, you know, poorly scripted as well. 
but again innkeepers if you're looking to watch this movie or you know or buy this movie blind buy it i highly would recommend it i mean it is only five dollars so it didn't really hurt me that as much uh when after i finished watching it but the innkeepers i highly wouldn't recommend it. uh next up is kick-ass uh i i enjoy this movie i love it and i hate it at the same time but i can sit through this movie and watch it um but for five dollars i could not pass up on this deal uh, so yeah, kick ass. Uh, next up, I'll show you a couple eBay pickups. First up, I picked up the gray with the slip cover. Um, I personally enjoyed this movie. When I first saw it in theaters, I enjoyed it, but I also didn't enjoy the ending of this movie. I wish it ended it a little bit different. Um, it just kind of leaves you hanging, but I heard there's an uh, ending at the very end of the credits. So I actually peeked in and watched that after uh, the movie ended and I personally did not like it as well. <laughs> I didn't like it again so The Grey is a great movie overall. Um, great performance by Liam Neeson. I love this guy. Um, his acting performances are you know, phenomenal. Um, but he again he does a lot of these type of thriller movies and action movies, suspenseful movies. Um, but he, I think he's really good in these roles so yeah The Grey. Uh, next up is Gravity, starring Sandra Bullock and George Clooney. Uh, personally, I love this movie. I like the visual effects of this movie. Um, as simple as it was, uh, the trailer is a lot, it's, it's very misleading, I should say. Um, a lot of people, a lot, a lot of my friends actually, that watched the trailer, they, the first, their first thought was, you know, Sandra Bullock is lost in space, and that's pretty much the whole movie. And it is very misleading. Uh, there's a lot of things that go on throughout this film that I thoroughly um, would recommend for anybody to watch this film. So, if that makes any sense. So, Gravity, definitely a must watch. A couple more Best Buy pickups, but these were picked up physically in store. And these were, I think they were about $7.99 a piece or maybe a little bit cheaper. I think they might have been on sale. I think $5.99. But it's Sling Blade starring Billy Bob Thornton. I have not seen this movie. I just read the back. Uh, it looked very interesting. So if anybody has seen this movie before, uh, just comment down below and let me know what you thought about this movie. So Sling Blade. Uh, another blind buy is Gone Baby Gone. I heard great things about this movie. Uh, Casey Affleck is one of those uh, up-and-coming stars um, and uh, Ben Affleck is just you know he's coming up to directing wise so yeah gone baby gone um, let's see next up I'll just show you a Walmart pickup and I think I believe everybody's picked this movie up is Anchorman 2 uh, this one comes with one and two together a uh, four disc set from Walmart and it's a steel book uh, just wanted to blind buy this. I've never seen Anchorman before. Uh, don't hate me on that. Um, I'm just not really a big Will Ferrell fan, but I like to give him a chance because I did enjoy him in Elf. Um, but I thought, again, don't hate me. Step Brothers was kind of overrated for me. Um, you just have to have that taste of humor. Um, but Anchorman, um, I just wanted to check this movie out because I heard great things about it. So. Anchorman 1 and 2. And next up, I'll touch base on my Fox Connect titles. I have eight titles from um, Fox Connect. And I'll start off with The Graduate, starring Dustin Hoffman, just a classic uh, film. I don't really like these little slip things because, again, they're kind of misleading, but they're actually just cardboard uh, stuck on top of the, the actual Blu ray case. So yeah, The Graduate, classic. Next up, Woody Allen and Diane Keaton in Annie Hall. And again, Woody Allen and Diane Keaton in Manhattan. I had to pick these two movies up. I have not seen any Woody Allen films, but I hear uh, great things about his films. Um, Midnight in Paris is also another one I, I want to pick up and watch. But I, you know, starting off with Annie Hall in Manhattan, you cannot go wrong. So yep, Woody Allen films. Next up, Philip Seymour Hoffman and Capote. I don't know if I'm saying it right, Capote or Capote, I'm not too sure. But um, 
I've heard great things about this movie. I've seen clips on YouTube, and I thoroughly enjoyed the clips that I've seen. So yeah, I know Philip Seymour Hoffman is a character actor, and he gives off great performances in mostly all of his films. So yeah, Capote. Next up, a personal favorite of mine, The Five Heartbeats. I grew up with this movie. I love Motown music, um, and I love, especially enjoy watching um, Leon, this guy right here. He did a lot of TV movies like The Temptations, um, he did Little Richard, uh, so he's he's good in a lot of these type of roles and he does a lot of good lip syncing as well. But I think in Temptations and some of his films that he did, he actually sung. So I give him huge props for that. But The Five Heartbeats, I highly recommend this movie. If you like those type of uh, musical groups from the 60s, um, and you like to kind of know about their history and their struggles growing up as a, as a group, um, the upcoming um, career they have and the down, downfalls they have as well. Definitely pick up the Five Heartbeats. I highly recommend it. Great soundtrack as well. Uh, next up, Francis Ford Coppola in, uh, starring, not starring, but directing The Black Stallion, uh, starring Mickey Rooney. I have not seen this movie before, but I've heard great things about it. Just a classic movie. Um, so yeah, The Black Stallion. Next up, uh, just a, another blind buy uh, from one of my favorite actors. I actually thoroughly enjoy watching his movies, even though the only movie that I've actually seen was Out of the Furnace and Scott Cooper. Uh, just watching his movies. Uh, interviews. He just knows what he wants. You know, he's a, he's a director and writer. So that's something that I appreciate in uh, directors now these days that they know their material and they know what they want and they know the actors they choose will give off these powerful performances that they envision when they're writing these scripts. Um, Crazy Heart, uh, starring uh, Jeff Bridges and Mag Maggie Gyllenhaal. I remember uh, watching a video of an interview of this Crazy Heart video. Um, they're interviewing the director, Scott Cooper, and he wrote this film um, for Jeff Bridges. You know, he wrote this film knowing that Jeff Bridges will perform a powerful, powerful performance in his character that he created. And, you know, it says what Jeff Bridges brings is crazy great, and it's four stars, and I just hear nothing but great things about this movie. Again, if any anybody has seen this movie, please let me know in the comments below. Crazy Heart. And next up, just a childhood favorite, Miracle on 34th Street. I did kind of juggle between the classic and this and this version in particular, but I did grow up on this version, so I picked the, uh, this version over the classic, even though I'm gonna eventually pick up the classic. Uh, Miracle on 34th Street. And I've seen the classic and it's great. So I did a couple trades. Um, I actually picked up, I actually had another uh, DMC pickup. It was Frozen and I traded that uh, to one of my homies, uh, The Future 2015, shout out to you. Uh, he does a lot of Back to the Future um, videos. And he's a, he's a very avid collector of DeLoreans and Hot Wheels and toys in general that are related to Back to the Future. He also loves Ghostbusters, um, I think Masters of the Universe. So definitely go check this guy out. I'll leave his link down below. Um, so we did a trade. I traded him Frozen for about three Blu-rays and some cash. And he gave me um, The Taking of Pelham, oh, Pelham 1, 2, 3, uh, starring John Travolta and Denzel Washington. Uh, just a great thriller. Enjoyed this movie uh, when I watched it the first time and the second time. So yeah. Taking of Pelham 123 and the remake. Uh, next up, classic The Lost Boys. Can't go wrong with this movie. Everyone's familiar with this movie, so yeah, Lost Boys. And last but not least, one of my personal favorites, Nick Cannon and in the Drumline. Um, just a favorite movie, one of my favorite movies. Uh, a great performance by Nick Cannon. Uh, his drumming skills are fanatic. So yeah, Drumline. Kind of reminds me of like Stomp the Yard um, and uh, what's that movie called with Marcus Houston and Omari on. Um, I'm just, my mind's blanking right now, but you can leave that movie down in the comments below to remind me of what movie that was. 
And last but not least, to cap this movie, uh, this movie Blu-ray update off, is American Hustle. Shout out to Minus the Beard One. We did a trade. I uh, sent him a movie down um, from Amazon from his wish list, and he, in return, shipped off American Hustle to me, uh, brand new, uh, in the slipcase. So yeah, thanks again, Just Minus the Beard One, Steve. Uh, you're a great YouTuber. Um, thoroughly enjoy your videos please everyone go check him out if you haven't subscribed to him i'll leave his link down below in the description box so yeah here it is everybody my blu-ray update for the past two or three weeks hope you guys enjoyed watching the video please comment subscribe jake's here go signing out